bro, that ain't your crush. That's your obsession. And once you can see and understand that difference, maybe you can put things into perspective. Maybe you can slap some sense into yourself and stop acting so weird. Bro, you're acting awkward in front of this chick. And it's because you're obsessed with her and that ain't your crush. Actually, let me explain. Number one, you think it'll prove something. See, a lot of times, a really clear way to know whether this girl's your obsession more so than your crush is to really look deep down and look at your intentions. So many guys are filled with a lot of insecurities deep down that they think that if they can bag this girl, it's gonna solve all their problems. Like, once I start dating this girl, they're gonna see this is how desirable or attractive or cool I am. And what's happening here is that essentially you're allowing others to define yourself. While that super popular, confident, and attractive dude, see, he'll rarely let others define him. He's so secure in himself, he'll never have to obsess over any girl because he doesn't need to and that's what makes him attractive that's why the girl comes to him regardless because he's not the one simping number two you check up on her all the time and i'm not talking about like hey how's it going i'm talking about like you're legit stalking her all the time without her even knowing to the point that some dudes are so obsessed that they're literally checking all her social media accounts until she posts something new to see what she's up to, to keep up to date with her. Now, what you're not realizing is that being this caught up with her actually deepens your obsession. You are so connected to this chick on her day to day, building your emotional bond to her just from your side though, every single day, it grows stronger and stronger. While she's out there just living her life, no idea that you're doing this, then when you two actually meet up in person, your level of commitment is up here because you know so much about her and hers is down here. And this is why you're acting so weird and she's acting so nonchalant. This is similar to the celebrity effect or to like the vlogger effect. You know how so many people will watch, take Casey Neistat. So many people would watch Casey Neistat every single day that when they actually saw him in person, they would feel this immense emotional connection to them and get nervous around him, right? They were fangirling him. And he, he was all chill, nonchalant. Well, it's basically the same effect, except you're doing it to a singular girl that she ain't even all that. Number three. You just completely stop talking to other girls. See, so many guys get so obsessed over one chick that the thought of talking to any other girl, it just sounds disinteresting. Like, you don't even want to think about it. Look, the only time you should only be talking to one girl is when you are in a committed relationship. Till then, I don't care how crazy your crush or how beautiful that girl you think she is, I need you to force yourself to talk to multiple women at the same time. And it doesn't even mean you have to hook up with them either, but it means that you're keeping your options and your attention open. See, when you keep your attention and your options open, you won't just narrow and zero in into that one girl and start acting all weird again. I promise you, she's doing the same on her side. See, women naturally are always sorting through all her options because she's looking for the strongest, the wealthiest, the most attractive man she can bag. That's who she wants to mate with. So she's consistently looking through her options you should do the same as well. Number four, you think she's perfect. If you think that this girl is perfect and that this girl has zero flaws, to the point that you worship her ground, you think that she is flawless, you got an obsession. That ain't a crush. Nobody is perfect, no matter how pretty this girl is. And you thinking that she is, has you, like it literally has you with blinders off from reality. I promise you that that one single girl from your small little hometown is not perfect she is not all that and in the grand scheme of things she's probably pretty average which means that if she doesn't work out with her there's probably another thousand ten thousand girls out there that are just as good as her if not better and more compatible to you and finally number five you still think there's a chance after she's already rejected you there isn't there is no happily ever after there is no movie here you probably screwed the pooch you creeped her out because you were so obsessed but take this as a learning lesson trust me almost every guy has has been to this point where they're just super obsessed, but the moment that she already rejects her, she's like, you know what, I, I'm not looking for a relationship or I have a boyfriend or we should just stay friends. Leave it at that. You'll never change her mind and just keep it moving. And that's basically it for this week's video, guys. Those are five signs that you are obsessed and that, that ain't your crush. If you guys like this video and found it informative, don't forget to drop us a like down below. Also, don't forget to share this video so we can help our fellow brother and not fall down this rabbit hole. That's it from me today. See you next time.